Women look for men to lead the relationship. Even when you're not leading the relationship, you're telling her that she should lead the relationship and that in itself, your inaction is a leadership quality. Guys are like, well, how do you lead the relationship? How do you lead the marriage? She doesn't listen to me or do anything. You lead by setting the context for how you have your relationship. You set the rules. This is how we engage with each other. This is what we're doing in this life. This is what we're doing with this family. This is where we're going. It doesn't mean to be a dictator and tell her what to do. It means to set the vision. You as the king of your household, you have to set the vision. If you don't set the vision, if you don't set the standard for how you're going to interact with each other, it's just never going to work. So for instance, if I'm in a situation where my wife is giving me a hard time and she's talking to me with a really bad attitude, I'm going to say, hey, look, here in this house, we talk to each other with kindness. We don't use a bad attitude. We don't call names. We don't do these things. And when you set these kind of boundaries, they have to have teeth. So I tell guys often, if you want to save a relationship, you have to be willing to burn it to the ground because you have to be able to go to the extreme. You cannot settle for just good enough. If you settle for good enough, it's always going to start to decay and go into crappy. You have to expect and want greatness in your relationship. If you don't expect and want greatness, if you're not willing to go all the way, all the way and just be willing to sacrifice the relationship to go to great, she will never trust that you are convicted enough to make that happen. And then she can say dumb shit like, if you really want to be with me, you'll do what I say. Or she'll just give you silent treatment until you finally capitulate. Or she'll just hold you emotionally hostage and she'll just say, ah, oh, it's just not worth the fight. It is worth the fight. If you want a great relationship, it's worth the fight. Go and make it happen. You are the one who determines what kind of relationship you have. Now, you may be with the wrong kind of woman. You may not be able to fix it just because you're dealing with bad source material. But that doesn't mean you can't still have that in the future, maybe with somebody else. But it starts with you. It starts with you being convicted and deciding that no matter what, this is what I require in my life.